morning. Scott here. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video. This is X-Plane 10. This is the latest video, uh, latest uh, beta version. Uh, I think it's 1010.9. Just came out. And they fixed, uh, supposedly fixed a lot of the weather, uh, how it works across screens. This is three screens running here, three computers, each running 70 degrees. Uh, 70 degrees of the view for a total of 210 degrees. Um, frame rates are excellent. I've got a lot of the uh, rendering turned up pretty high here. Um, it's the X737 uh, aircraft model. Um, I haven't tweaked all the warping in perfectly yet, but it works pretty nice where it's at right now. Uh, this is uh, Ketchikan International Airport. Uh, P A K T, um, and this is scenery called Final Frontier scenery. It's payware, but it's pretty excellent scenery uh, out here in the uh, Pacific Northwest or Canadian. I guess it'd be the uh, Alaskan. It's part of Alaska, actually, Alaska Peninsula. So, or Panhandle. So anyway, I'm gonna taxi out here and. Um, Got everything fired up, uh, running Sim Avionics um, from Flight Deck Solutions. You know, everything is Flight Deck Solutions in here. Uh, MIP overhead. Um, the MCP and EFIS uh, uh, units are for, are the uh, EL series um, from CP Flight right now. Um, everything's running. Uh, the flight illusion gauges overhead. Now, when we when we go to take off, there's going to be the takeoff configuration warning. Don't ask me why. Uh, everything is set right. Uh, I have something that's missing here, or something's not registering right. So just ignore that. But I'm going to go ahead and take off. We'll see how the weather looks. I am trying to do this with one hand on the camera and one hand flying. So bear with me on the flying part. And. Uh, Let's see if we can get off the ground and um, I love the uh, I love the taxi lights and everything on X plane it's just beautiful lighting and going a little fast here beautiful lighting and I don't know just much more realistic to me than FSX um, not to make this as a FSX versus X plane war but um, just want you guys to see a little bit of what X-Plane has to offer. Again, uh, this is three views, uh, three computers, and get some scenery out here. It's three computers running this, so and they're pretty high end. They're i7. Uh, I forgot which model, but they're one of the later models. Six core computers each. So. It is a pretty heavy duty computer setup to do this. Here's a plane taking off over here. But the setup wise for X plane and three computers compared to setting up under um, FSX and uh, wide, uh, wide client, uh, what is it? Yeah, I guess wide view. Uh, this is a piece of cake compared to uh, trying to do wide view. And uh, I've got wide view and FSX set up on these same computers with a lot of nice scenery, but I still just prefer the ease of use of X Plane. And uh, things are starting to come together. You know, there's still some items I'm missing. I'm waiting for FDS uh, radio support in X Plane. Uh, so I can fully use my radios. Right now I'm using GoFlight or the CDU. And um, you know, getting a little off here, guys. I'm just going to slam the throttles and go here. So here we go. Now there's that takeoff configuration warning. Again, I think it has to do with my spoilers, but they are set. And you'll hear some flap warnings on takeoff, but I 
like I said, I'm not really sure what's causing that right now. Beautiful scenery in X Plane. Reach over and get the gear handle up here. Again, my flaps are uh, toy. The weather is uh, translating really nice across the screen. This is uh, this wasn't the case before. So, it looks like they did fix, they did fix a lot of the weather uh, problems that I was having between screens before. And this is just beautiful looking out the front over the lakes over here. I'm trying to show a little bit of the weather here because they said that was a problem before. This is just gorgeous scenery too. I just uh, it's probably as good as anything I've seen in FSX. I mean, the Orbix stuff in FSX is great, um, and I've flown around this area with Orbix. And uh, you know, I will say that this add-on, along with two others as a bundle, was only like 50 bucks. So a really good value. Looks like a uh, some kind of a tugboat pulling a, a barge down there. And you get some of the light coming across the water over here. Lighting effects are really good. Big Eagle. And X-Plane. There's that barge. Big Eagle. Sun off the water over there. Kind of coming back around towards the airport here. I only Bank have a Eagle. couple minutes left on this video, but I'm going to slow this plane down a little bit. Bank Eagle. Bank Eagle. Bank Eagle. Getting into the clouds a little bit here. Bank Eagle. Bank Eagle. There we go, into the clouds. Come back down a little bit here. There we go. So there's a little bit of the... Uh, a little bit of the uh, clouds. I'm just kind of going up and down in the layer here. So a little bit of the weather across three screens. About 8,000 feet up here right now. It's looking pretty good. I mean, aside from some of my warping and, and meshing of the screens, I think the weather is looking good. Let's come back down and we're right over the top of the airport right now. There's the airport over there. Again, I just wanted to get up in the air and kind of come in and out of the clouds here a little bit to show the weather a little bit. Come back down again. It's a four flight chart over here. Going too fast. That's it. Let me see if I can uh, set us on a 10 mile final. And I'll be back to do that in a minute.